Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. My name's Jake. Welcome to my show. It's Thursday, which means I've got a new beer for you. Uh, don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on Untapped, YouTube, and Twitter. And on Instagram at tubajake underscore. Don't forget to tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Hopefully you do too, because I tell stories. Um, they're, they're stories from my life. Um, I've had several interesting stories. So hopefully they're not repeated. They probably will be though. And you'll probably hear more of them as we go on. So keep listening or watching or whatever you're doing with this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that other people get to see this, hear this, watch this, I suppose. Um, the beer I've got for you today is Wapa Tui. It's from Upper Hand Brewery in Escanaba, uh, Division of Bells, it says. 8.5% uh, ABV. The shelf life is unlimited. It looks really good. We're going to give that a shot. So anyway, uh, it says that it's fruited. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, I'm thinking by the stuff that's on this, it might taste like jungle juice, which makes me think that it's going to be super delicious. Because generally, that's what jungle juice is. And generally, jungle juice will get you to where you need to be for the night if you're a college student. <laughs> I was a college student for a long time. Is 10 years a long time? I think 10 years is a long time. I, I'm not talking about like I did my undergrad. I did like a an associate's a bachelor's a master's in 10 years. I'm talking like I did an undergrad degree in 10 years. I was an undergrad for a long time. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. My suggestion is to do seven years, maybe eight. Eight at the outside. My father's, my father's suggestion was stay in school as long as you can. It's so much fun, you won't believe it. He was right. Um, I think I'm more right. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, Wapatui has a great name. Um, it is not as red as I thought it would be, so that's nice. From what it looks like, it looks like there is a red solo cup on top of the W, so my guess is that it, this is going to, well, I mean, it's, and it's 8.5%. My guess is that this is going to be kind of... <sighs> ooh, ooh. This is not what I was expecting it to be. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> it doesn't say much beyond that. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Shamelessly delicious fruit bomb. So it's not. It doesn't smell like what I'm expecting it to be. We'll see how this tastes. I'm expecting it to kind of taste like jungle juice. But from that smell, it's not my expectation. Huh. It tastes an awful lot like jungle juice. The jungle juice that I used to have, though, was a lot more sour. Um, I mean, let's be real. Jungle juice is, what, a bell ringer at the wayside? So you get all of that stuff. You get the grenadine and the uh, the Sprite and the um, gin and the vodka and the rum and the every the triple sec everything clear goes into that and the 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 stuff that cuts it down a little bit the weird thing is the last time i went to the wayside they were giving it out in mugs about this size for the same price that you used to get pitchers you'd get pitchers not like like that kind. <laughs> um, and they were, it was amazing. Like $8 for a pitcher of Bellringer, it'd make your night. 
and eight dollars for a picture of Bowringer get like eight people drunk <laughs> but or one people just enough to make it through the night and it would although it also give you heartburn like you could not believe that's really what this tastes like it no that's not true this does not taste like that this tastes a lot more like a summer hummer if it were made as a bell ringer there's a lot of beer flavor in this if you made a bell ringer with beer instead of sprite that's what it would this is what it would taste like which i mean if that's your thing amazing but this this will hit you hard i mean wapatui go figure it's gonna it's gonna taste like it's gonna hit you weird i mean because it sounds like it's gonna hit you i doubt it want to i doubt that i would want to drink six of these especially in a row but one a night sure to start the night probably um if you're or if you had started the day super early and this is to finish out your night early <laughs> then yes this this i mean really are there beers that this reminds me of no <laughs> uh, a little bit of uh, the uh the the fruit punch ipa that new belgium just did a little bit of that this is heavier than that for sure um that's probably as close as i can get so far as beers go to matching what this is <sighs> this tastes like this tastes like a summer hummer made with fruit punch instead of lemonade and definitely made with PBR. First, definitely, absolutely made with PBR. Am I saying that tastes bad? No, this tastes fine. It's, it's really good, actually. I like it, but I can tell already. Wapatui! I'm punching me right in the face. I made a mistake earlier, dabbing that 14.5% stout. It tasted real good, though. Real good. Does this remind me of a story? A couple. There was one that I was thinking that it reminded me of. Um, one with uh, Laura and Ben and Marissa and Sheba. But really... This reminds me more of one with um, Johnny B and Toby and Dan Ferrison and Kid and Mikey. A lot more of that. Um, so the Rite of Spring used to happen in the spring at Central. Go figure. Um, every once in a while there would be a bassoon player that would be brave enough to play the bassoon solo from Rite of Spring, in the nude, as high as they could, wherever they were. Um, not like they're smoking, but like high up. Like if they could get onto a balcony above everybody else, that'd be cool. If they could get onto a roof, even better. Um, I don't remember if that actually happened at this one, but at this one, we had a, we had a pond we built an outhouse for this. I mean, it was just a box with the toilet seat sitting out in the backwoods, which was, which is actually really kind of cool, especially where we did it because it was like way away from everybody. And if you really need to take a dump, you'd be away from everybody. Um, but that was kind of neat. But also it was like 20 minutes out of the college town. at a guy's 
brother's house, which was fine. We spent the morning building things for our fraternity stuff and then went on to the evening part that was not part of the fraternity stuff, but everybody in the fraternity was invited. And it was lots of fun. And there was a bonfire and there was music and there was singing and there was instrument playing and there were people there and it was a blast. And my people that I was there with decided, hey, it would be a really good idea to make Summer Hummer. And what I said to them before we started to make Summer Hummer is, that sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do that. I was not wrong. It was a terrible night. Um, so far as, well, I don't even know. I made it to a spot that was pseudo warm. I slept in the back of a Volkswagen bus with three, with four other people. It was tight, but that was nice because it was 30 degrees out that night and it was cold. It was cold that night. Cold. It was cold. But it was also super fun that night. Probably worth it. It's a good thing we did have as much alcohol in us as we did. A very good time. Cold. Good. For sure. I mean, and the other time was early on in my days of college. I wasn't even sure that I wanted to drink with everybody that I was going to be drinking with. And two of the people were freshmen that I was drinking with, which probably wasn't perfect, but I mean, they said they were old enough. So anyway, I've got a quote for you. Uh, this one is from Sherlyn Sarkeesian. Share, uh, if you will. She said, Until you're ready to look foolish, you'll never have the possibility of being great. So, do something stupid. It could be great. You don't know. I don't either. So, don't forget, I'm Tuba Jake, my, well, my name's Jake, but also you can find me at Untapped YouTube and Twitter, oh, Tuba Jake underscore 69, and on Instagram, you can find me at Tuba Jake underscore. Uh, if you tell me your stories, I'll definitely tell you my stories, because I'm going to tell you my stories anyway, whether you like that or not, or whether you tell me your stories or not. Um, and if you like, comment, and subscribe, I will like that even more. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you. So, I'll see you next time. When do you got time for a beer? <laughs>